Hello, hello, good evening. Hi, good evening. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, how are you? Pretty good, thank you. And um, what about you, Ana Maria? Hello, Roberto. teacher. Hello, how are you doing? I'm doing fine, I'm too. Okay, good to know that. <laughs> uh, Roberto and Isaac. Okay, good evening, Roberto. Let me see who else is here. Okay, welcome to the week number three. We are um, moving on and we're coming back from a weekend. I hope that it was good for everybody, um, even though maybe it was a little short and colder than usual. It was a little cold weekend. Okay, Karen Heyman, are you there? <clears throat> hello, hello, Karen, are you there? Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you doing? Good, so so. getting ready for this week. I was having some um, connection problems before the, before the session started, but thank God I fixed them. So we're ready to start. If you hear some noise, it's my neighbors. So I hope that doesn't interfere too much. Rodrigo, good evening. I see Rodrigo and- Hello, hello. Hello, hello good hello. to see you, Loida. Good to see you Maide. too. Welcome back from your weekend. Um, yeah. Was it a good weekend for you? Yes, no, yeah. or a kind very, of? Uh, it was a very special weekend. I went to the beach and I had a good time, yeah. Okay, which beach do you go to? Ah, I visit El Tunco, El Tunco, El Tunco. Beach. Okay. In Libertad, that's my favorite because I like to, to eat fish and um, yeah. Ah, and, okay. Uh, and walking in the sand. I, I love to walk in the sand, yeah. Okay. It's very beautiful. Yeah, for some people that's uh, like a therapy, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Okay, Julian is here too. Sonia, welcome. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Okay, it's good to have you here, guys, and welcome back. Uh, quickly, just to catch up, I am going to give you a couple of minutes, just two minutes maximum, so you can uh, talk a little bit about how your weekend was and what you were doing, right? What you were doing on this past two days or well three days because for you the weekend start uh, starts on Friday right because you don't have classes so you have the opportunity to let's say to do other things at night right um let's see I saw somebody else here Soveda welcome to the session number nine hello teacher hello how's it going I'm fine. I am working today. Okay. So you won't be able to be talking too much. 
Yes. Okay, got it. No problem. Okay, so somebody's here, yeah, and now I'm we good. have Shayla. Okay, let me see. We have a total of 12. So we're going to have four breakout rooms. Glenda is coming, and also, let me check, somebody else. No, just yeah. Glenda. Hello, welcome. So I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms for two minutes so you can share a little bit with your classmates about your weekend, how your weekend was and what you did, right? On these past two days. Then we come back and we start with uh, the session. Ready, set, and go. Accept the invitation now. Some of your classmates cannot speak, right? So don't be surprised if they cannot say anything. Okay. Okay, so Julian, Loida, Alba, and Sheila. Accept the invitation, please. Okay, uh, there you go. We're missing just Sheila, Loida to join the breakout rooms. Mm -hmm. Check. Loida, can you hear me? <clears throat> Hello? Okay, if you can, if you didn't receive the invitation or if you uh, didn't accept it by mistake, let me know. With her in my in my Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. And you, what about you? How was your weekend? On Saturday, I, I worked and then I went to the beach. Mm. I went to eat fish. <laughs> and yesterday, I do anything. Just stay at home, lay in, in bed, no more. Do you go to the Libertad Beach? Yes, I went to uh, Malecón. Malecón. Yes. Mm -hmm. And... Te quería preguntar en qué trabaja, pero se me ha ido la pregunta. <laughs> okay, what do you do? What do you do is the general question for that. What do you do? What, what, what do you do? Yeah. What do you do? What do you do, Alba? I'm a lawyer and I work at Fobial. I'm the responsibility oh. of the warranties in a specific. Okay. And another thing, Smart. <laughs> And you? I I work in a clinical laboratory. Mm -hmm. You have a real, a hard demand. I realize a uh, antigen of COVID. <laughs> oh my gosh! So now your laboratory is very full. Yeah, it's very full. Well, you have to, you have to,
Wait a second. Okay, can you hear me now? So yeah, everybody's can... coming back from the breakout yes. rooms. Yeah. I couldn't hear all of the breakout rooms, right? But I imagine that you had the opportunity to talk a little bit. And well, it's time to get started with the specific topic that we talked about last session. Do you remember the topic that we were discussing in class? Yeah. The this, this, that, and those. Yeah. That was one topic. That was one topic. And the mm. final topic that we talked about was that I shared some links with you. Uh, the comparison, uh, the comparisons. <coughs> That's correct. I shared some link with you on the yeah. WhatsApp group, right? That's right. Okay, so we have Veronica and Dinona with us now. Okay, welcome, uh, ladies. And... Um, Let's see who else. Well, somebody was writing to the group. Mm -hmm. uh, who was it? Friends with the internet. Okay, so I think that was Shayla. Yeah, Shayla. Well, that's a shame. Um, hopefully she can connect. She will be able to connect um, later on. I'm going to share the screen with you right away and let me check What happened? Okay, ah. here we go. Yeah, I I don't know. My computer was kind of getting frozen. I don't know what's going on. Probably I had too many documents open. That's maybe the reason. Um. Well, anyways, here we are. So this is the the part of the of the exercises of what we were practicing. As you remember, last session we took the pictures, right? And uh, we started, okay? We started with the topic of comparisons. So today we're going to practice a little bit more and then we are going to um, go to the debate, okay? As you re Well, we're going to read a little bit and then we go to the debate. As you remember, I told you on Monday, we're going to debate. We're going to discuss different questions to practice comparisons, okay? So uh, in this case, the number one, we said that the conversation, right? Which dress is? And the pretty. adjective is pretty. Yeah. Okay, so the comparison is prettier. prettier. Correct, prettier, okay. Prettier. So uh, prettier, in that case, we apply one rule for the comparisons. And the rule is, if the adjective finishes in or ends in the letter Y, for the comparison, we are going to use, we're going to change the letter Y for the letter I plus ER. In mm -hmm. this case, we have pretty, the comparison will be prettier. Uh, another example can be crazy. The comparison will be crazier. Crazier. Right, so we eliminate the Y and we use the I. Another example that you can mention, an adjective that finishes or ends with the letter Y. Funny. Funny, yes. Yeah. Funnier. Uh, it would be funnier. Yeah. Okay, good. So happy, happier, and so on. Okay, excellent. So in this case, uh, which dress is prettier, the yellow one or the green one? Well, the green one is silk, and silk is more expensive. expensive. More expensive. Okay, Rodrigo says that is more expensive. So, do you agree with that? More expensive than. 
polyester. Okay, I'm going to show you the two options and you tell me which one is correct. Okay, so we have more expensive. That's the option one. And the option two is expensive. Option one or option two? Which one do you think is correct? Option, option one. Now. Option one. Option one. Yes, that's correct. So um, in this case, the correct answer or the correct option is more expensive. So what is the rule or what is the explanation here? If the adjective is long, it applies with the majority of the adjectives that have two, in some cases two, but normally three or more syllables. For example, expensive, three syllables, expensive, because the syllables you count them when you're, when you're pronouncing the word, okay? Expensive. We only have three syllables, X, pen, and sieve. Okay, and our adjective can be intelligent. Intelligent, it has four syllables. So in this case, when we use comparisons, we don't add ER to the adjective. It's not correct to say intelligenter. It's not correct to say importanter. Okay, so we say more intelligent, more important. Okay, so with the long adjectives, we add the word more plus the adjective, no modification. Okay, excellent. Conversation two. Okay, I need two volunteers to complete the conversation two, please. Okay, so we have Rodrigo and who else? Who wants to practice? Conversation, okay, Milena, thank you so much. Okay, so conversation two, uh, you start the conversation. Rodrigo, please. Your microphone is off. Hey, sorry, sorry. No problem. The number two, A, is this blue t-shirt larger? The red and white one? Is larger than the red and white one? No, the red and white one is bigger. It's a medium. The blue one is a small. Yeah. Bigger, excellent. Bigger. Okay, so larger than, larger than. That is the other, another rule that we can apply or that we can analyze or remember, try to remember about comparisons, okay? We use the word then when we are comparing two things. So for example, if I want to say, um, let's suppose that I say, uh, talking about superheroes, right? Talking about superheroes, who, is faster, the Flash or Captain America? Flash is, is faster than Captain America. Flash is faster than Captain America. Okay. Yeah. Now, <clears throat> um, that's an example, right? Flash is faster than Captain America. Um, then, the other, the other rule that we, we can also see in this example is the doubling of consonants. So in this case, the adjective is big. In the comparison, we, when we have consonant, vowel, consonant, we duplicate the last consonant when we compare. For example, mm -hmm. big, bigger. So we have double G, okay, B-I-G consonant, vowel consonant. So we have to double the last consonant. Another example. Hot, hot. Consonant, vowel consonant. 
what is going to be the, the, the comparison? Hotter. 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 Hot. Okay, Hot. hotter. That's correct. Hot. So uh, when we have that combination of consonant, vowel, consonant, we are going to uh, duplicate the last one, the last consonant. Okay, now we're going to move on to the next one. Okay. Uh, conversation number three. Two volunteers, two new volunteers, please, for this one. Remember, we are learning. So if you make mistakes, if you say something that is not right, that's normal. That is the idea, right? That we learn in the process. So Soveda is the first volunteer and the second volunteer is? Who's next? Who's next? Who wants to practice a conversation with Soveda? Me. Alba, okay. So, and then in the next practice, we're going to have Veronica as volunteer. Excellent. Thank you. So, Soveda, you start the conversation and Alba, you finish it. Look at this band. Which ones do you like? Uh, Which one do you like? What is the comparative for the adjective good? Better. 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 Excellent. So here we have one of the final rules. Okay. So we have some irregular adjectives. So they don't follow the normal rule. So in this case, good, the comparative is better. Okay. Same. The opposite of good is bad. The comparative for bad is worse. worse. worse worse so if you want to say malo and peor right it's not más mejor or más peor that's incorrect <laughs> so never say more better uh, or, or more good or more worse or more bad no we say good bad when we describe something for example i can tell you that a uh, bad bunny is bad Mm -hmm. okay um it's a bad influence and i can say that let's suppose another artist that is not a bad influence um jesus arian romero is good okay it's a good yeah. influence okay so uh in this comparison uh gospel music is better than perreo music Okay, gospel is better than perreo. So gospel will be like religious music, right? Okay, so as example, I know that maybe you like some perreo songs from different singers, and maybe you're going to a concert um, at the end of the year, but it's okay. We respect opinions, okay? Um, so which one do you like better? Correct. Continue with the conversation, Alba. I prefer the green cotton ones. They're more stylish, the cool, no, the whole ones. Okay, they are more stylish. It's stylish? More stylish, correct. What is the word that we're missing? More stylish? The whole ones? Done. Than. Than. Ah, than. More stylish than the than the wool ones. ones correct than the wool ones excellent so those are the rules and the things that you have to remember when we're using the comparatives okay so you can take a screenshot if you want right so with examples with the observations right um and now we are going to well i'm going to cross cross out the Okay, wait a second. This is incorrect. Okay. Now we are going to have more examples and more practice. Okay. Uh, first of all, we have the teacher. Your personal opinions. Hello. 
Uh, I have a question. Tell me. Um, uh, in this topic, um, I would like you to give us a little more explanation to, mm -hmm. to understand the rules if there are. Mm -hmm. Ok. Eh, me gustaría un poco más de este tema, si siento, en lo personal lo siento un poquito complicadito, no sé si usted confusing, me puede dar maybe. más. Ajá, con, Ajá confuso. a little confusing. Entonces, okay. como entender si hay algún tipo de reglas para yo más o menos identificarlas y poderlas entender un poco mejor. Sure, no problem. Uh, so, basically, you have to remember two things. Number one, we use comparatives when we have two things, two people two objects, two animals, whatever. And you are putting them in contrast, right? Like you are comparing them. So uh, for example, let's suppose that I have, um, let's suppose that I have two cell phones. I have a Samsung and I have an iPhone. So I am going to describe the characteristic, okay? The characteristic. I can say, for example, that iPhone, is faster than the Samsung cell phone. It's faster than, okay? So I am comparing the adjective fast. So the rule number one is that we add ER to the adjective. For example, fast, faster, cold, colder. Uh, San Salvador is colder than San Miguel. Um, and our adjective can be, um, let's say, funny, okay? Uh, funny, I can say that uh, the Minions movie is funnier than uh, Kung Fu Panda, for example. It's funnier than, es más divertida. So we use ER, with the short adjectives to compare. And we use the word then, okay? This one right here on the screen, you can see then, right? That is a word that we use to compare two things, okay? Right here, then. Um, so the first rule is that we need two things to compare. And the second thing that you have to remember is that we have two classifications of comparatives. We have the ones that we use with ER, with the adjectives that are short. For example, um, you can say pretty, you can say crazy, you can say uh, tall, short, small, big, et cetera, et cetera. And we add ER to the adjective, okay? So I can say that my sister is shorter than my brother. Okay, mi hermana es más pequeña que mi hermano. Um, and we have the classification of the long adjectives. With the long adjectives, we use the word more plus the adjective. For example, uh, important. Okay, for me, for me, uh, I can say my mother is more important than my best friend. If I have two people and I have to make a decision, I think that my mother is more important than my best friend, okay? So uh, we use more the adjective than. So which subject is more difficult for me? If I compare between English and mathematics, mathematics is more difficult than English. And basically that's the way that we can understand the comparison, okay? With adjectives. Now, uh, there are little rules like the ones that I was mentioning uh, before. For example, the double consonant when the adjectives have the combination va consonant, vowel, consonant, like big, we say bigger with double G, hot, we say hotter with double T, okay? And um, the other rule is the irregular, 
irregular adjectives. So we have around three or four irregular adjectives that are like exceptions, right? They don't follow the rule. For example, good, the comparative is better, and bad, the adjective bad, the comparative is worse, okay? Uh, and the best way to understand any topic, okay? That, that would be my, my extra recommendation for everybody. The best way to understand any topic is to do a lot of practice, to do a lot of practice. In my case, speaking of grammar, for example, uh, when I was a student, I used to study the, 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 a little bit of the explanation, but for me, the best way to understand a topic is to, complete, to do exercises about the topic. So I understand based on practice. If I don't practice something, I forget it. I get confused. So for me, the explanation is important, but I have to do a lot of practice by myself also. So uh, my advice in this case, with any topic that you find a little difficult or confusing is to go online, right? Uh, download an application or um, go to a website or watch a video or a channel on YouTube, whatever, and study or practice the topic, okay? So for example, comparative, you can go to Google, type comparative exercises, and you're going to find websites. You're going to find videos, you're going to find images, you're going to find uh, applications where you can practice the topics. So um, I don't know if that explanation uh, is enough, uh, Miguel, is a little clear for you. Excuse me, teacher, um, it, it sounds very soft. Uh, I, I don't know, it is my audio, no, no sé si es mi audio, pero le escucho bien, suavecito, allá al fondo, de repente se... ¿Y tú? Igual a mí tampoco lo escucho mucho, teacher. No me escucha mucho, ok, wait a second, I don't know what the problem can be. Mm. No, the microphone, it's... La is to the maximum level. So maybe it's a problem with the microphone, maybe the connection, I don't know. But uh, I don't know if you got the idea a little bit of what I was trying to explain to you. Yes, no. Anybody? Okay, so maybe um, later you can watch the video, uh, the class video. Teacher, no se le escucha. Okay. Uh, okay, vamos a ir con el plan B. Can you hear me now? Oh, yeah. yeah, clear. Sí, yes, I'm here. Wait a second. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, yes. Yes. yes, yes, Can you hear me? Yeah, your voice is better than before. Hello, hello. Hello, si se escucha. Hello. Okay, I'm trying to use my plan B right now. Wait a second. Can you
Hello. Hello, hello. I can hear you. Hello, hello. Okay, I can hear you now. Can you hear me? Yeah, your plan B yes. is better. Okay, my plan B is better. Well, I had to look for my my earbuds, like these little things that you stick in your ears. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. So. Uh, hopefully they will work better. Um, I was telling you that in case you didn't hear me so well, maybe in the video of the class video, uh, you can listen to this part of this of the of the class. Okay. Um, now I am going to go on with the presentation. Uh, sorry for the inconvenience. It was a technical problem, literally. So. Um, the useful mm. expressions that we can see here in this part of the of the exercise is uh, well are the color is prettier, the design is nicer, and the style is more attractive. The material okay. is better, so you can compare not only the the item but also the design, the color, the style, the material. Okay, the size, the size, right? Uh, the brand, for example, La Marca, if you compare two cell phones and you are like, mm, I think this is better. Why? Because the brand is more recognized. Which brand is this? And you say, ah, this is Samsung. And this one, uh, this is... Uh, Alcatel, right? So you are like, mm, okay, so Samsung sounds better than Alcatel. Um, it's not uh, advertisement, right? Uh, or a commercial for Samsung, but it's an example and it's true. Now, um, to practice more, okay, to practice more, we are going to do a little exercise. So, question, how much is a newspaper in El Salvador? Fifty cents. Fifty cents, okay. In the US, let's say that is 75 cents. A cup of coffee in El Salvador? In a dining place or on the street? Four dollars. Mm. No, if you go to a dining place, un comedor, right? Or to a diner oh. or to uh, to a place on the street. A quarter dollar. A quarter or 50 cents, right? Uh, no. Maximum $1. But if you go to an, a fancy restaurant like Starbucks no. or Ben's Coffee or, well, here in San Miguel, Tartaleta, <laughs> right? Or that would be like five dollars or four dollars. Okay, so. Mocachino. So that, uh huh. So it depends on where you buy it. Okay, a <laughs> CD, a CD, an original CD. Well, we don't buy original CDs, but if you have experience buying an original CD, how much is it approximately? For example, in the video games, the video games is it's as like a CD. The one CD, if you buy a video game, like uh, $50 or $60. $50. If it's a music CD, it's what? $25, $20? Original CDs, $20. 20 yeah. Okay, so it's similar to the United States. Yeah. And what about paperback book? A normal paperback book. How much would it cost? Probably yeah. ten dollars, maybe right? Five. Seven. Okay, in the United States, that would be approximately seven ninety-five. Okay, so here we are comparing, for example, with this kind of exercise, we compare the price. Okay, so you can say in general that uh, some things are more expensive in El Salvador and some things are more expensive in the United States. Okay, some some examples now. To practice more, we have a debate. So I need you to take a screenshot, please. Take a screenshot. 
these are some example questions that I came up with um, so that you can express your opinion, okay? However, in the practice that we're going to do right now, you are going to invent or think of your own questions. You can add extra questions. For example, who is stronger, Batman or Superman? Is easy. It's an easy question. Who is stronger? Is stronger than Batman. So but you say. More wait, stronger. wait. Uh -huh. So we have some comparisons to make. So you can say, yeah. uh, Superman is stronger than Batman. Okay, yeah. that's the first example. The most obvious difference. Okay, what happened with the second option? Wait, I'm going to change the color, it will be blue. Okay, what happened with the second question? Who is more intelligent? Batman is more intelligent than Superman. Batman. Batman is more intelligent more than intelligent. Superman. More intelligent okay, than who, is, who is richer? Who has more money? Batman, Batman. is richer. Batman, Batman, right? Batman. Is richer than, than Superman. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if we're talking about, uh, now it's about men, right? But let's go with women. We have uh, the Black Widow and we have Wonder Woman. Mm -hmm. So mm. Wonder, who is stronger? The Black Widow or Wonder Woman? Wonder, Wonder, Woman. Woman. Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman is stronger. Okay, who is more intelligent? Black and Widow. Black Widow. Black Widow is more intelligent. Okay, who is richer? Who has more money? That's Black difficult, Widow. right? The Black, Black Widow, Widow, maybe? Yeah, maybe yeah, she's yeah, richer. Yeah. Okay, she's maybe richer. Tony Stark gave her some money. Okay, so um, we have a. In the, in the present, right, in the present, we have a lot of topics about superheroes because the majority of the movies are about that. So that's the first example. That's what you're going to do. You are going to discuss and ask and answer different questions, comparing things, comparing people, comparing movies, comparing food, comparing music. Um, one question that is important for me to discuss, one question that is important for me to discuss, who is more famous? And you have to be honest. Who is more famous, the president or the teacher? The president. Are you sure that the president yeah. is, is more famous than me? Definitely. <laughs> Sorry, teacher. Okay. Well, I try. I try to, to get some points, but no. I'm not more famous than the president. <laughs> okay, so that, right? Uh, you are going to ask and answer these example questions that I invented, and then you can ask your personal questions, right? Like, let's suppose that two girls are talking about um, who is more handsome, right? And then you say uh, Captain America or, or Superman, and then you can start the discussion. I think that Captain America is more beautiful or well, more handsome in this case, because this and this and that. No, I think that Superman is more handsome because it's, so you can have a little discussion because I told you it's a debate. So it's important that you explain or you give one reason why you think this person is, for example, more handsome than the other one. Or which ones are more delicious? We have uh, corn pupusas and we have rice pupusas, rice rice dough pupusas and corn rice corn dough pupusas, right? So we have pupusas de arroz y de maíz. Which ones are more delicious? An example. And then you explain, you give your reasons. So for this exercise in particular, you are going to have six minutes to discuss in the breakout rooms in pairs. Okay, so um, I just want to know if everybody is, I mean, who is not able to use a microphone right now? 
uh, who is not able to use a microphone right now? So I consider that for the breakout rooms. Um, okay, did you take the screenshot from the questions? Yes. Yes, okay. Don't forget that if you finish before the time is over, you can invent your own questions, right? Or you can change the names, okay? You can change the names. For example, instead of saying which country is larger, Honduras or Nicaragua, you can say which country is larger, Colombia or Venezuela, okay? You can change that. Uh, or which country is smaller instead of larger, right? Um, which team is more popular? You can ask Aguila or FAS, for example, uh, which, or Barcelona, Madrid, whatever, whatever you like. So uh, it can be basketball teams. So you, you make the decision. I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms right now. Uh, is everything clear about what you're going to do right now? Yes or no? Everything is clear? Okay. I hope so. I hope so. And let me check. Nine, that will be eight. I'm going to create the breakout rooms now. One, two, and three. Welcome, Teresa. Uh, one, two, one, two. Yes, perfect. So we're ready. Room number three. And your time begins when you accept the invitation. There you go. Teacher, sorry, pedí por error el otro botón. Oh, okay, okay. Wait a second. I'm going to check in which sorry. breakout room you were. Hello, teacher. Oh. Hello? Now you can use eh, microphone. Eh, sí, pero ando manejando y no puedo conectarme. Ah, okay. No, don't do it, please. <laughs> so don't worry about that. Don't worry okay. about that. Thank you. Okay, so Ada, there you have it. Uh, Kevin, can you hear me? Hello, hello, Karen and Julian. Hello. Right, so you're ready to ask the questions. Ask and answer the questions. Which, uh, which ones are more delicious, tacos or pupusas? Which ones are more delicious, tacos or pupusas? Um, That's a difficult question. <laughs> Excuse me. That's a difficult question. Yeah. Nah. Difficult. Pupusa. And and the supermarket guy. That's why I think the stronger than than bad. And what do you think? do? You have a internet problem. No, I don't have the because the sun is clear. <laughs> what? The sun is not clear. Sun is not but continue. <laughs> so maybe if, if you maybe if you turn off your camera, uh, Rodrigo, just try. Maybe that way the the audio will sound better. Hello, hello. Is better? I think so. Yeah, it's better. <laughs> yeah, it's better. Okay. 
Okay. Sería, Capitán América is more richer at Superman. Ah, uh, is that correct? More richer? Then or just no. richer? Only rich. Richer. Richer. Ah, okay. richer. richer than, yes. Okay. It's not possible to say more richer or more uh, prettier or more colder. Is the comparative, the ER is more. Uh, en el ER hay que agrega, ahí va el más. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Correct. Okay. And you, Mia? Two questions. Oh, the teacher. Oh, no. The <laughs> president. <laughs> the teacher is sad right Sorry, now. Teacher. It's a reality, I know, <laughs> yes. It's, it's a reality we can, uh, um, how do you say evitar? Avoid. Avoid, uh -huh. this is mm -hmm, a reality yeah. we can have avoid. Yeah, I know, I know. Because es por qué? Because. Uh -huh, because. <laughs> Because El Salvador is the, the smallest country in Central America. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yes. Uno, porque yo no me recuerdo. Ay, no, qué terrible, ya terminamos. <laughs> what? Por qué? Why do you say that you finished? No. Ah. <laughs> no, yeah, you have time for one more question. Ay, Dios mm. mío, how do you say antorcha humana? Uh, the... ah, I don't know. I think that would be like the human torch. <laughs> <laughs> human torch. Thor. Thor? Uh -huh. oh. Ay, ¿cómo se llama este? Who? Ay, el que usa armadura, ¿cómo se llama? Se me ha olvidado. Iron Man. Iron Man. Iron Man. Ah, okay. Iron Man, yeah. Thank you, teacher. Entonces. You're welcome. Uh, Iron Man. Stronger, dijimos, ¿verdad? Is, uh, yes. Stronger. Iron Man, ¿y a quién más? Eh, Thor. 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 Iron Man is more. It's more lander than Nicaragua. Siempre que usted entra, teacher, tengo que decir. Es es <laughs> larger. No, it's more larger. larger. It's larger. Larger. You need to practice. Sorry. You need to study that. It's larger it's than Nicaragua. Than Nicaragua, correct. That's it's larger than, than, than Nicaragua. Than Nicaragua. Than Nicaragua. Than Nicaragua. In your case, who is in my case is... Uh, Russia is hmm? is more Russia is more rich than it's United richer. States. Richer, richer than the Un richer than United States than the United States. It's a possibility. Yeah. States. Okay. <laughs> See okay. you soon. <laughs> All right, so how was the debate? Was it good? Did you ask many questions? The debate is funny. Funny, okay. What was your, which was your favorite question? 
what is more important, hey. money, money or health? Money or health. Hey, Favorite question is who, who is more beautiful, Beyonce or Scarlett Johansson? Oh, that's a difficult question for me. <laughs> I like both, so it's difficult. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Yeah, but well, it's about preferences, okay? As they say in English, there is a there is a famous proverb that says, "Beauty is in the eye." Um, of the beholder is in the eye of the beholder. So that would be like la belleza está en el ojo de quien la vea, right? So, okay. Um, that's the explanation for that question, right? Everybody has different likes, different interests. So it's difficult to, to say who is right and who is wrong. Okay, so I hope that you practice enough and um, that you continue, right, studying and practicing this topic because it's really important. Teacher. Now we're going to, hello. Teacher, sorry. What is most important, uh, money or health? Health, definitely. Health is more important than money because you can be the most millionaire people in person in the world, but if you have a, terrible disease, there is no money that can sell, save you. <laughs> so I think that, yeah, health is more important than money. Of course, money is important, but in the end, <laughs> if you are in a hospital, you realize that it's better to be healthy than having a lot of money. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. Now, because of time, we're going to stop here. So I'm just going to ask, well, send you this, uh, reading uh with the with the questions to your to the whatsapp group i will send this to your whatsapp group so that you can answer the the questions in your notebook okay and tomorrow at the beginning of the class we check okay what are what the correct answers are so the world's online marketplace ebay okay this is an old uh reading when ebay was new right nowadays you know that Online shopping is the number one, probably, way of selling and buying. So um, the world is online now, especially with the pandemic. So I am going to send you the, the, the text and the questions, okay? The questions about the, the reading. So uh, quickly, which of the statements you think are true? Then scan the article to check your answers. Okay, first one, eBay is a place to buy and sell things. Is that true or false? Yes or no? It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. You can make friends on eBay. True or false? False. false. You think false. it's false? Okay. Everyone okay. likes eBay. False. False. Okay, so that's just an example, right? In this case, yeah, I mean, it's a place to buy and sell things. You can make friends on eBay. Um, not really. Um, that is not the purpose of the of this place, of this uh, site. Um, everyone likes eBay? Mm, definitely no. There's no uh, website that everybody likes, right? So there are always people who dislike something or the famous haters, right? Um, now, uh, online shopping, it's basically the, as I was telling you, right, number one way of buying things. But eBay is not the number one. Which one is the number one nowadays? Amazon. In the present, we can say that Amazon is more popular than eBay. We can say that Ali, right, Ali, Baba, AliExpress is more popular than eBay, for example. Um, have you ever done online shopping? Maybe on Marketplace or yeah. another website? Yes. Yes. Anybody, yes. is anybody afraid of online shopping here in this class? Yes, it's very dangerous. It's dangerous? <laughs> because in Marketplace, you uh -huh. are not likely what, um, 
what is the person? Who so is we, who the person is? Uh -huh. yeah. Who, you don't know who, who the, the person, person is. But okay. I think it's very if you have a bad experience, yeah. That's right. Yeah, everything has uh pros and cons, and you have to be careful with everything that is online. Now, a question. A, is everything okay with the platform? Does anybody have any problem uh, with the platform? Let me know. Remember that you can contact me through WhatsApp, right? On working hours, right? Obviously from seven in the morning until let's say before the class. Um, so if you have any comments or question about the class, about the platform, this is the moment, okay? So we're beginning the week and I would like to know if everything is okay. Mm -hmm. Hello? Hey, it's okay, it's okay. Everything's okay, no problem, okay? No Hakuna problem, Matata, teacher. perfect. Okay. <laughs> Excellent, so. Thank you so much, guys. It was a pleasure to, to see you again. Well, to be with you again, right? Because I cannot see everybody for different reasons, I know. Um, but I hope that uh, you learned something new, that now the topic of comparison is clearer for you. Um, if you need more resources about a specific topic, you can send me a message. So maybe I can Google or investigate. Uh, something that I can be helpful for you. So thank you so much. Have an amazing week. Um, you survived Monday, so congratulations. Okay. Hope to see you tomorrow at the same time, same place with the same t-shirt, but a different shirt. Okay. So take care of yourself. Have a good night. And okay. God bless Bye. you, and your, and your, you and your families, thank guys. You. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Take care. Keep on practicing and learning. Good night. Good night.